every fellowship um, has what we call a valedictorian. It's a very huge word. So that's the person that comes to speak, to share experience, just a little bit of, you know, speak on your behalf. And uh, allow me now to welcome um, the one and only, hey, please stop, <laughs> please stop, yes, yes, yes. Um, recently, Hannah uh, was voted, elected GRC. Yes, please clap, you before. Do you know what it means for a young woman to actually compete at Makere University for this position? Me, I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys. Maybe, is it easy? No. It's not easy. So clap for Hannah. Hannah, welcome. Give your remarks. Uh, and then congratulations once again. Thank you so much, Abbas. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I'm actually very nervous to be standing here to speak on behalf of the graduating fellows. Um, my name is Hannah Rinaitwe. You can as well call me Honorable now. <laughs> yeah, and um, I'm a graduating MCI fellow. I've, I came with a lot to say, but I've only been given three minutes. So I'm trying to ensure that I can use that time efficiently. I've, I, I still can't believe that we have reached this far as the MCI fellow cohort. I would never have imagined that in just a period of six months, 26 strangers can become a family of 26. I mean, some of us have people who we have known for our lives. Relatives could be classmates, but some of them don't feel like family as much as the 26 you see here are. We started this journey um, with a lot of excitement. And if I remember very correctly, uh, for the very first week uh, of MCI, I remember pulling my dad and begging him to drop me to the hotel, asking him to pinch me just a couple of times during the entire journey to ensure that I'm actually live there in the MCI fellowship. <laughs> I remember looking around the room for the very first time and looking at these somewhat established journalists, you know, they were all intelligent, and I was like, okay, what are we going to learn from this fellowship? Why does, I, I mean, everybody looks like they know what they are doing here. But during these weeks, we all somehow became babies in media. I'm telling you, <laughs> looking at all the new concepts and wondering where we have been the whole time. The special weeks for me were um, the data journalism week, public service week, reporting week, the radio week, digital skills week. Oh wait, haven't I mentioned all of them? All the six weeks? Okay, they were all special. All the six weeks all the six weeks were special. And I still remember the exciting squeal that Maureen made when she made her first camera shot and it looked amazing. I remember when Letitia jumped in joy after receiving her media pass after pitching and pitching and pitching the story a thousand times in reporting week. Trust me, you guys, it's not easy to pitch and have your story dumped over 12 times. <laughs> I remember Boaz owing the entire team over and over again with his amazing storytelling and his captivating works. I can go on forever and ever. Each of these weeks helped us acquire new skills and put us ahead of just any journalist in the field. All the 26 you see right there can write, can direct, can produce, can present, can film, they can analyze. I mean, public service delivery reporting has nothing on that cohort. Trust me. Solution journalism has nothing on that cohort. We didn't just go to the fellowship to become, you know, the best journalists. We're not like robots, you know, we're not just going into the factory to become the perfect journalists. But we became a family. I was doing a bit of research before coming into the stage, so I asked Solomon, one of the fellows graduating, and I'm like, Solomon, how would you describe this fellowship for you? And I'd like to share what he said. He said, the friends I met will be some of the best family I'll ever know. We met, we connected, I chose them and they chose me. No predestined relation or forced connection. I found myself laughing with them, learning with them, dancing with them and expressing the other fun side of me. Friendships are life's way of showing us that family sometimes goes beyond what we are told it is. It goes beyond mom and dad and sister and brother 
and that is what made the fellowship and i do know that 26 agree right one vivid example of that solidarity for me personally had to be when i was standing for the guild representative council at Makere university oh by the way i didn't mention my challenge in the fellowship is a whole guild president of st lawrence and the cohort calls us the <laughs> Just so you know, we are called the first family of the cohort. Yeah. These 26 really encouraged me. I got a whole team that helped me in the elections. And when I was announced a victor, I was honestly not surprised. I mean, I had the best social media team. I had the best journalists on, like, on my side. Like, I was definitely... Um, looked i was definitely going to win the election so this journey wouldn't be a success without the mci team uh mr abbas and pindi always hitting us with those soft blows <laughs> thank you so much for guiding us through this entire fellowship auntie martha oh what sam oh what sam would say auntie martha auntie martha we love you so much Thank you so much for ensuring we were physically and mentally okay. Simon, thank you so much. You know how the Bible has the three wise men? Now, our cohort had that one wise man, Simon. Thank you so much, Simon. Um, thank you so much, Antonio Kisembo, for always teaching us relentlessly. I don't get tired of teaching us. Thank you so much, Mr. Ivan, for being there for us as well, especially for our group that you mentored. Um, Swiss Mark and Ephra! Wow, you guys cannot imagine the amount of <laughs> help those two gave us during the entire time. They're telling me my time is getting over. But these guys have each given us a chance to be greater. I would also like to, support, uh, to thank the sponsors for the fellowship, for believing in the future of media in Uganda, for believing in the 26 of us. There might be so much more that I had prepared to squash into this three-second speech, but one thing for sure is that this experience will forever be engraved in our minds forever, but especially, especially because of the great after-effects that are going to come after experiencing this program. Ladies and gentlemen, let's applaud the graduating cohort. Thank you so much. Wonderful. A standing ovation. Yes, uh, they've given her a standing ovation. That is uh, this year's cohort uh, that is graduating. Ladies and gentlemen, the Media Challenge Initiative uh, Fellowship. Sometimes Seeing I 